Today's kind of a fun one. We add an LCD screen to a Raspberry Pi for Octoprint monitoring. Recently, I noticed there was a new plugin available for Octoprint that allows you to use the I squared C bus on a Raspberry Pi to get a status of your print via a 1602 LCD screen. And I thought this would be really handy, especially if you didn't have an LCD for your printer. Now, this plugin is on its first version, and there's not a lot of features right now. But I think going forward as it evolves, this could be really handy for a lot of things. So I thought I'd take a minute to show you how to get it set up. Let's start on the hardware first. For this plugin, you will need a 1602 display. These are pretty affordable. Link in the description. Let's go ahead and peel that film off. You'll need four jumper wires and a Raspberry Pi with Octoprint already installed. So we'll start by installing the jumper wires on the back of the screen. This top one here is ground. Next one down is VCC, that's your 5 volt. You have your SDA pin and your SCL pin. And then on the Raspberry Pi side, we're going to use the 5 volt pin that's right here. There are a couple available, but I'm going to use that one. Right next to it on the same row is a ground pin, we'll use that one. And then the pins underneath it right here are the ones for the I2C bus. So the pin underneath the 5 volt pin is your SDA pin. So we'll plug that in right here. And then the one underneath the ground is your SCL pin. Plug it in right here. And that's the only four connections you need. And now if you go ahead and plug in your Pi, this is what you should see. If you don't see these white tiles, it might be because the contrast isn't set quite right. So you can flip it over and you can adjust it right here. Now that we've booted up, this is our Octoprint instance, but we need to turn that I2 C bus on. It's off by default. So we need to SSH into the Pi. So I'm going to open up Putty and log in. Default is Pi, password is Raspberry. So just run an ls slash dev slash asterisk i2c asterisk. That'll list all the i2c devices. And we have none. So with that, we're pretty sure we don't have i squared c enabled. And to do that, the easiest way is to run the raspi config. You can do it with a config file, but this is an easier option. So run sudo raspi-config. And you have to enter your sudo password, raspberry. And we want to go down to option 5, interfacing options, and go down to option P5, I squared C. This will enable or disable it. If you hit enter, it'll ask you if you'd like to enable it. Hit yes. I squared C is enabled. And that should be all we have to do. We can hit tab and tab again to finish. And for good measure, go ahead and reboot sudo reboot now and we should be all set after the reboot but I want to go ahead and show you what it looks like just so you can confirm if you need to so let's restart this session we'll log in and go ahead and run that list command again ls slash dev slash asterisk i2c asterisk and there is an i2c device dash one that's what you want to see there is a one and a zero device on a raspberry pi we're not going to be concerned with zero today but there is a couple of them so we should be all set. Let's head into the GUI and let's go over to settings. We'll go to plugin manager, get more, and just search for LCD. And here's your plugin right here, Octoprint LCD 1602. Hit install. So our install is complete. Let's take another look at our LCD screen. You'll notice that first row of white tiles is gone. That's a good sign. So back to Octoprint. Let's close this. We can go ahead and save. And I highly recommend at this point, you shut down and power off your Pi, just to reset that screen. So let's come up here to power, let's do shutdown system, we'll proceed. The shutdown only takes a couple of seconds, we should be down, go ahead and power off your Pi. And then we can power it back on, and wait for it to come back up. You'll notice as we're booting up, you'll see all those white tiles again on your screen. And don't ask me why, but after we do the power off and power on, if that LCD screen is still showing all those white tiles when the GUI is available, go ahead and issue a reboot. So just come up here and hit Reboot System. During the reboot, the screen should go dark, and then when it comes back up, you shouldn't see those white tiles anymore. That's how you know the plugin is ready to use. I've had to reboot this a couple of times in the past to get it straight, but eventually it pans itself out. So back to the GUI. For this, I'm going to use the virtual printer, just for example. So we'll go ahead and connect up to virtual printer. And if you look at the screen, we've connected to virtual. 
That's a good sign. Back to the GUI. If we start a print, the screen will rotate to percentage complete, and then after the print starts to stabilize, you get a percent complete and a time remaining. Pretty cool. And the job is done with a little smiley face. And now just for a few dollars, you have a screen that will help you monitor your print. All you need to do is print yourself a case. Now I have only tried this on the standalone instance of OctoPrint. I haven't tried the multi instance yet, but that's something I might do in the future. A big thanks to Milan for creating this plugin and giving me some help along the way. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.